score with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will be leaving the game. So keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Yes. Here comes your first question. Written by John Williams, Hedwig's theme is a piece of music associated with which film series about Beth? Harry Potter. About a boy wizard, of course, Hedwig being his owl. Would you like to play the first counter or pass it? Um, I'd like to play, please. Okay, where are you going to go? Drop zone four. Right, four up for Beth. Nice rapid drop and a good settle there, Beth. Let's see if we can bring that mystery down. Yep, so it's a good start so far. And is the tipping point ready for you? Hopefully. Go on, go on, go on. One counter sneaks in. <laughs> Better than nothing, Beth. £50 yeah. pounds for your first one into the machine. Let's take it from there and put it into your bank. So you're up and running with £50 pounds and you've still got two counters left. Next question. The daughter of William and Catherine, Princess Charlotte, is formerly known as Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte of where? Julia. Windsor. No, it's Cambridge, isn't it? Oh, Duchess of Cambridge, I'm afraid, Julia. Uh, we have to steal the counter from you. That's going into the penalty pot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. Julia, you've got two counters left. Next question. The French word for coffee is used in English to define what sort of small establishment? Stephen. Cafe. Selling food and drinks. It is cafe, Stephen. Yep, no problems with that one. Do you want to play? Yeah, I'll play, please, Ben. Drop zone four, please. Four up, please, Stephen. Good quick drop and good settle for you. Anything going here though, Stephen? In the corner there. Oh, they're hanging Not over quite. the edge. Just keep an eye on it. There could be a bit of movement on that top shelf. It's a rail stack of them they're gonna go. Not quite. Just changed its mind then, didn't it? <laughs> we need it to go. Oh, just riding, I think. So I'm not sure you're gonna get anything. Sadly, Stephen just Enough. fell a bit too deep on the shelf. Okay. That shove went forward, so nothing from your first drop. You've still got two counters left. Next question. From 2014 to 2016, former Wimbledon champion Amelie Moresmo was the coach of which grand... Stephen. Andy Murray. Grand Slam winning Scottish tennis player. It is Andy Murray. Yes, Stephen. You going straight back in? Yeah, please, Ben. Where are you going to go? Four again, please. Fire up, drop zone four, please. Good settle the other yeah. side this time, Stephen. Is I that where you wanted it? Yeah, hopefully fill the gap. Oh, yeah. yeah. So a couple over the top shell. Oh, very nice. That'll do. Great Thank drop. <laughs> Ten counters there, Stephen. Wow, 500 pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So it puts you in the lead on 500 pounds. You've got one counter still to play. Thank you. Okay, next question. Which is the only colour of Nestle Smarties that matches its flavour? Beth. Orange. It is orange. Good smarty knowledge, Beth. I like chocolate. <laughs> Very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Beth, where do you want to go? Uh, drop zone three, please. Let's have drop zone three. Ram down. Settles on the right. See if we can get you a bit more money this time, Beth. £50 last time. Couple over the top shelf. Is the bottom a bit sparse there? Yeah, it might be. It is, I'm afraid, yeah. So nothing from that drop. You've got one left now, Beth. Next question. The title character in the children's book Elmer and the Rainbow is a colourful representation of which large animal? Julia. The elephant? Yes, Elmer is an elephant. Well done, Julia. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'll play, please. Where do you want to go? Um, drop zone one, please. Drop zone one for Julia, please. Busy drop that. Very rampant. <laughs> Got the double down. Yes. yes. Can we get you some money here, Julia? Get you please, in the game. Please. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, oh. <laughs> they just stacked along the tipping point there, Julia. <laughs> to nothing from that drop. You've got one left. Next question. The Qin Dynasty ruled in the third century BC in which Asian country? Dave. China. It is China, Dave. Yes. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'd like to play, please, Ben. Where do you want to go? 
Number one, please. Drop zone one it is. Julia's just set it up delightfully, hasn't she? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Let's see what you can do here, Dave. You're going to get the benefit. Here we go. Slides and settles. Everything going over the top shelf. Yes. Is the button going to give? No, oh, <laughs> somehow not, Dave. Sorry. You've waited so patiently to play that counter. Seemed like the right thing to do, but somehow found a gap at the back of the shelf and just filled it up. So nothing for your first job. Still got two counters left. Next question. Which organ, the centre of the human nervous system, is widely considered to be the most complex organ in the human, Beth? Brain. Human body, it is the brain, Beth, yes. Right, what do you think? One last counter. Drop someone, please. Drop someone it is, fire it up. on the right, the far right-hand side. We need something over the top shelf here. Good squeeze. Yes. And is the point <laughs> going to go for you, Beth? Oh, you get four You're counters. Welcome. 200 pounds Thank for you. you. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on 250 pounds. You. you have now used all three counters. Over the time being, you are out. So, Julia and Stephen, you've both got one counter left each. Dave, you've still got two. Next question. At the end of the 2018-2019 season, the football club that were promoted into the Premier League after finishing second in the championship was Sheffield what? Dave. United. It was Sheffield United. Well done, Dave. Now, are you going to play again? Yes. I'm going to go for drop zone three, please, Ben. Drop zone three? Yes, okay. please. Fire up three. Let's see if we can get you some money. around the drop zone, whips from side to side, settled on the right. Yeah, there you go. Nice set across the top shelf. Is the bottom ready? Ooh, one oh. sneaks in, Dave. 50 pounds, so you're off the mark. There's a bit of pressure on Julia now. Let's take that and put it into your bank. So you've got yourself 50 pounds, Dave. You've okay. got one counter Thank left you. to play. Next question. In film, the Academy Award is more commonly known... Stephen. The Oscars. ...by what boy's name? I can accept Oscars. Uh, Stephen, do you want to play or do you want to pass? I'll go for one, please. Drop zone one, Stephen. There you go. It's your last counter. Down it comes. What? It is flat. Should squeeze those few over the top. Ooh, but no. I don't. Just being pinned. That black counter's going to stay there. Live to fight another mm. drop. Stephen, that was your third and final counter. You've got £500. For the time being, you're out. It's just Julia and Dave left in. You've both got one counter left each. Next question for the two of you. What does the letter R stand for in the name of the wildlife charity, the RSPB? Julia. Royal. It is royal, yes. Uh, Julia, would you like to play that last counter? Please, yes, please. Where are you going to go? <laughs> um, may I have drop zone one, please? You can. Fire one up. All right then, Julia, let's get you something here. Get you in the game. Oh, settle, settle, settle. <laughs> oh, Julia. <laughs> That's one of those Please, please, drops. please. I think it's going to work out nicely. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Despite your best efforts, <laughs> that worked out really nicely. <laughs> 12 counters there, Julia. Your last one in gives you £600. When we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, it's going to put you in the lead. Thank you. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Right, Dave, it's just you left in, because it's just you don't need to use your buzzer. Okay. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question, though, to put that counter into the machine. Thank you. Here we go then, Dave. In the title of an early 20th century song, Mother Brown is urged to keep what part of her leg up? Knees. Yes, knees up, Mother Brown. Well done, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got one last counter here. You need to try and get four out to catch Beth. What are you thinking looks good there, Dave? Drop zone three, Ben, please. Yeah, let's do it. Fire three up. Set them up. Can you knock them into the wind zone, Dave? Here we go. Settles nicely. Is it just going to split them, though? No. Oh, Dave, no. No. No joy on the top go. shelf this time, Dave. Not like that. So you stay on 50 pounds. So as things stand, Julia is leading with 600 pounds. Stephen has 500. Beth, 250. Dave has 50 pounds. But it's not over. We've got one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. You buzz and give me the correct answer. You put this counter into the machine. You buzz and give me the wrong answer. 
you will be frozen out. Dave, you in last place. To have any chance of going through, you've got to try and give me the correct answer last here, chance. okay? Yes. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty spot question. The term cellist is used to refer to someone who plays what, Dave? Cello. Stringed instrument it is. The cello, Dave. You got there first. The quickest when you needed to be. Bit of stress on that one. Just a bit. <laughs> You've got one last chance here, Dave, then. You need four counters to catch Beth. I'm going to try drop zones three one more time. Ben. Let's Thank give you. it a go. Bar three up. There we go. Rapid drop. Yet slides Ooh. out. That black counter's got to come over. Come on. It does. Is it going to work nicely for you here? Dave? Yes, it is. That's five across the tipping point, Dave. You needed four to catch Beth. That'll be enough to put you ahead of her. 250 pounds, including the one that jumped out of the machine. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And we've come to the end of the rounds, and it means Julia is leading with 600 pounds. Stephen has 500 pounds. Dave sneaks through with a penalty spot counter and 300 pounds. Beth, I'm so sorry it came down to that last drop, but I'm afraid with 250 pounds, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Beth. Thank you for having me. It's been lovely to meet you. Uh, so join us after the break to see which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Julia, Stephen and Dave have all survived to play in round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. As before, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Julia, you are leading after round one, which means you get to decide. Would you like to play first? Or would you like Stephen or Dave to play? I'll go first, please. All right, 30 seconds for you here, Julia. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, okay? okay. 30 seconds for Julia, please. Your time starts now. Lava lakes are reservoirs of molten lava that can be found in craters or vents of which geographical landforms? Volcano. Correct. The Patrick Suskind novel, Perfume, is about a person with a heightened sense of what? Smell. Correct. Badger cross and tiger cross are varieties of which green vegetable? Lettuce. Marrow. Somebody described as a Serb is typically from which Eastern European country? Don't know. Pass. Serbia. In 2010, which Iberian country won the FIFA World Cup for the first time? Don't know. Pass. Spain. It was Spain. Uh, two correct answers in there, Julia. It's tough when you're under pressure, isn't it? You did get two right, though, so you get the chance to try and get some money from the machine. Where would you like to go first? Drop zone one, please. Drop zone one it is. Get that double out, Julia. It would be very handy. Let's see what happens. Get your timing right. A little bit backwards with your timing there, Julia. Oh, he's got right, with it again, yeah, though. Yeah. Is there anything coming here? A bit of a gap on the bottom shelf, isn't it? Oh, just setting itself. That's pretty steady there, though. Yeah. So nothing from that drop. One more to go, Julia. I'll stick to drop zone one, please. One again, please. That's much better. Come out, come out, come out. Oh, I didn't want to settle. That's a good spot if it goes down, though. If it's flat. Oh, no. it's riding hard no. luck. It was much better time as well. <laughs> oh, it's a twisted machine of ours. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Julia, I'm so sorry. Two counts have gone in, but nothing's come out. So you stay on 600 pounds. Okay. Right, Stephen, we come to you. You can choose now as you're ahead of Dave. You could play next or you could ask him to go. I'll play next, please. Okay. 30 seconds for Stephen, please. Your time starts now. The luxury high street lingerie brand that refers to its models as angels is Victoria's what? Secret. Correct. Wales's national football team traditionally wear home shirts that are mainly what primary colour? Red. Correct. What does the letter I stand for in the names of the British security services MI5, MI6? Intelligence. Correct. The Austrian neurologist who was the founder of psychoanalysis is called Sigmund who? Freud. Correct. The name of which cereal grain is also the surname of interview with the vampire author Anne? Uh, pass. Rice. The market town of Ashby de la Zouche. Ran out of time in this one. The market town of Ashby de la Zouche is located in which English county? Buckinghamshire. Leicestershire. Uh, four correct answers, though, Stephen. So not a bad return at all. Four to put in. Where do you want to go? Uh, I'll go three, please, Ben. Drop zone three it is. Fast one. Hammers down, didn't it? On that right-hand side. 
probably just a knock. Can we get a couple to catch Julia? Ooh, <laughs> there's a couple there, and a few dangle. danglers. Just see if those drop this time round, if you get a little nudge on that silver one. They're going to stay. Fine. Two counters, though. That's £100. So you have caught Julia. Staying with drop zone three, Stephen. Uh, yes, please, Ben. Three again. Hopefully that's enough just to... Yeah, I should take those two black ones out, certainly. Is there any going? Oof. Mm, no, just filling the shelf. Two more to go, Stephen. I'll stay where I am, please, Ben. Three up. Hit that silver count you just left, and I think you'll take out that shelf. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully that should work. A few over, hopefully. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Couple go. There's the two black two. cans that were dangling over the edge. So that'll be enough to put you in the lead. That's £100. Takes you to 200 in the machine. One more to go here, Stephen. Hey, I'll stay with three again. Drop zone three again, please. Ooh, the other side. And now uh, I don't think it's going to be enough to get those ones I'm that are sure. hanging over. They're close, aren't they? Needs a little bit of a squeeze. Oh, just about. Is it going to take any more out? Get one. you one more. Thought you'd get more than that, Stephen. You I worked know. hard for that. Let's give you another fifty pounds, though. Two hundred and fifty pounds. What you've managed to get. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that puts you in the lead. Seven hundred and fifty pounds. Right then, Dave. We come to you. Thirty seconds for Dave, please. Your time starts now. Excluding the spare, a classic Vespa scooter has how many wheels? Two. Correct. The statue known as the Venus de Milo is famously missing which of her limbs? One arm. Arms. In March 2019, horse trainer Willie Mullins won the Magnus Gold Cup at which racing festival? Gold Cup is at? Ascot. Cheltenham. Symphony No. 9 in D minor is a famous work by German composer Ludwig van Who. Beethoven. Correct. In the human body, which organ is responsible for breaking down or metabolizing the majority of alcohol a person drinks? Liver. It is the liver out of time on that. Two correct answers. That one about Venus de Milo, famously missing which of her limbs? You were very specific about one arm. It's, I was. It's both of her arms that she's missing, so I'm really sorry we can't give you that one. It means you've got two counters here. Now, six counters catches Julia. Where do you want to go? I think it has to be number three. Let's do it. Fire up three. over to the right-hand side. Oh, it's going to end the hole. Oh, oh, good work. Wasn't expecting that. Is the double going to get close? Oh, goodness me. Five across the tipping point, Dave. 250 pounds. You're 50 pounds shy of Julia. One more to go. I'm going to change to drop zone two. Going to change to drop zone two, which hasn't been used yet. Is this the right decision? Fire two up, please. Good luck, Dave. Let's see what happens. Slams down. Is that the right side, Dave? It should be close. It could be. Can we go over the top shelf? But is the bottom ready? Is the seal going to break? No, oh. it's not, Dave. It didn't work for you, I'm afraid, which means, Julia, you sneak through. <laughs> just... Let's take that money from the machine and put it into your bank. And we can see just how close it was. Stephen is still leading with £750. Julia is through with £600. Dave, you came really close. But I'm afraid with £550, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Dave. It's been a great day. Good stuff. Uh, so it's Julia and Stephen who'll be going head-to-head -head after the break. The right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Julia and Stephen. Well done to both of you for Thank getting you. this far. Thank We're you. about to find out which one of you is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. There's just £150 in this and a lot of money in the machine there. So it should be a very interesting round. You're leading at the moment, Stephen. Uh, played a good game up till now. Um, so you've been married for about a year, is that right? Yeah, April last year. Congratulations. What's your wife called? Claire. Did you go anywhere nice on your honeymoon? To the Maldives. Oh, very romantic. Very nice. Yes. Uh, didn't you have a bit of an accident while you were there, though, Stephen? Yeah, I'm not a massive uh, swimming fan, but I went snorkeling. Very and nice. uh, 
got out back on the beach and my wedding ring that I'd had for about six days was uh, nowhere to be seen and was on the seabed. So uh, no. never retrieved it and that's the a new one. I lost it in the sea, darling, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, Claire was there with me, but yeah. <laughs> did you go back and try and find it? We did. Um, and I think we may have seen it, but it was just uh, too difficult to retrieve. You couldn't quite get it? No, because I had the video camera and I, I looked back on it and I think I saw it on the, on the film. No way. Have you replaced it? I have, yes. So you got it back on. <laughs> yeah. so you got a ring back on that finger eventually. Yes. Okay. I think I had to. As things have been going at the moment, it's looking very good for you, Stephen. If you stay in the lead, you could well be playing for our jackpot. You played very nicely. Julia, well done to you. Thank you. It was a bit touch and go at the end there in that very round, much so. wasn't it? Yes. But you have snuck through, and rightly so. Uh, so your job is as a local government officer. Mm -hmm. Uh, but actually, your main passion is looking after your grandchildren, is that right? Yeah, I've got two little granddaughters. How old are they? Um, Asha is seven and Joelle is seven months. Wow, so really, really tiny. Yeah. And does Asha know that, is it Granny? She call you Granny? Yeah, yeah Granny, yeah. Does she know that Granny's coming on Tipping Point she today? She does, yeah. She's been watching it with me and stuff, yeah. Training be, you up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When, um, when I don't get the question, I said, but Grandma, you should have got that one. You should have got that one. <laughs> It's always really easy after you've heard at them, home isn't it? At it is really yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, too right. And look at you now, Julia, yes, in the head-to-head, -head, yes, taking on Stephen and the chance to win ten or £20,000. <laughs> yeah, 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 my holiday's calling to me. So. <laughs> you just want to let Stephen know that, don't you? Yeah. Well, little Asher will be sitting at home cheering her granny on as well. You've played yeah. a great game, Julia. Thank you. And best of luck in this round. Thank you. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. Give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. And whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. As you're leading, Stephen, you get to choose. Would you like to keep control of the machine and take the first question or pass it to Julia? Uh, I'll keep control, please, Ben. OK, first question for you, Stephen. In April 2019, which Avengers film became the fastest film ever to reach $1 billion in global ticket sales? You can play this or you can pass it. I've only ever seen the first one but it was quite a big hit, so I believe it's Endgame. Endgame. Julia, yeah, I you'd have gone so. with that as well. Yeah. Let's see if you're right, Stephen. Is the answer Endgame? It is indeed. Great. Uh, Stephen, you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? I'll go with three again, please, Ben. Drop zone three, let's do it. Double is very tempting, isn't it? No, it's looking on the edge. There's a couple of gaps here and there. That was what Dave was worried about. Now. Hopefully could be on for the double if we get something over the top shelf. Yes. Just, Just give it a good top nudge. Is it going to be enough? I'm not sure it will be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> double had a little look at it and changed its mind. <laughs> but four counts did drop, Stephen. So £200 goes in. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. It's going to fit your £950. Right, Julia, we come to you. Time for your first question. In March 2019, which LA Lakers basketball player overtook Michael Jordan's all-time NBA points record? You can play or you can pass. She thinks I'll Stephen's pass. into you. Okay. I'll pass. I'm not sure. Julia's not sure. So Stephen, you into your NBA at all? Not really, no. Um, the only one that I can really think of is LeBron James, which I think I'll probably go for. If that's okay for you, Ben. Yeah, LeBron James, yeah. Julia. That's what I thought. That's what you were thinking. Yeah. You didn't want to go I for it. I wasn't sure, though, because, yeah, go. OK, let's see if you should have. Stephen stealing this counter. Is the answer LeBron James? It is LeBron James. Great answer, Stephen. Well done. Let's put another counter in. Where do you want to go? I think I'll stick with three, Ben. Hopefully I can get on the left-hand side and get a bit of a nudge on the, the okay. double counter. Let's see. Three up, please. Wanted it, I Good think. stuff. It's a nice stack there, isn't it? And a couple go over the top shelf. Move, move it over. Laterally into two. Is the tipping point for red? Two more sneak in. So not too much damage, Julia. £100, though. Let's take it and put it into your bank, Stephen. That's going to put you on £1,050. Keep control. Time for your second question. Which cheese made in Yorkshire received protected geographical indication status in 2013? You can play it or you can pass. I think Julia's into her cheese. Are you into your cheese? I don't mind a bit of cheese. Um, I know a few, but I'm trying to think of which one is associated to Yorkshire. Um, I'll pass, I'm not 100%. Right, Julia. So a cheese that's made in Yorkshire. 
Yorkshire cheddar. I'm sorry, I don't Yorkshire know. Yorkshire cheddar, you've got yeah. to give me something. Yeah. Stephen, what were you thinking? Possibly Wensleydale. Possibly Wensleydale. Let's see if Julia's right. We need this one. Julia wasn't sure, so she's gone for Yorkshire cheddar. It's not Yorkshire cheddar. It is Wensleydale, actually. Oh, okay. Wallace and Gromit's favourite, of course. Yeah. Uh, so, Julia, sadly, you were wrong. Stephen, good pass. You get the counter. Where do you want to put it? I'll stay with three, please, Ben. Three up, please. There you go. The double dropped in. That's how close they'll be yours. Anything else that goes with it will double up, of course. It's looking a bit sparse on the tipping yeah. point. Can we get a couple more? No. Two counts did drop, though. £100 for those two. The double's in there, though, so we can double it up. Stephen, give you another £100. And let's take that 200 from the machine and put it into your bank. So you extend your lead. £1,250. Oh, just had a little ambient drop there. Goodness me, that is brutal. Those counters will have to be voided from the machine. So, Julia, we come to you. Time for your second question. The music video for the first single from Beyonce and Jay-Z's 2018 joint album, Everything Is Love, was filmed in which Paris museum? I was there last year. Ooh. <laughs> and where, what did you visit? Mind, but... Yeah, <laughs> think back. Are you going to play it? I have... No, I'm not, because I'm really not. I can't remember it. You can't remember? No, I'm from blank. No. OK, Stephen. So sorry, Stephen, you've got it. Thank you. Um, there's only one I can think of, Ben, and that's the Louvre. The Louvre? Julia, does that ring a bell now? It does, really does. <laughs> Stephen, let's see if you stole <laughs> in this counter. Is the answer the Louvre? Yes, yeah. it is. Oh, Julia. No. OK. Right, Stephen, where do you want to put the counter? Uh, I think I'll move to two, please, Ben. OK, drop zone two it is. Down we That's go. OK. Not too bad. I don't know if it's got enough. Bad. Oh, there you go, drop zone one's having some action. Just going to fill a hole there, then. Yeah. OK, so no damage done, fortunately, Julia. Stephen, you keep control time for your third and final question. In the technology that combines virtual images with the real world in gaming apps such as Pokemon Go, what does the A stand for in AR? You can play or you can pass. I'll play, please, Ben. As um, an IT project manager, <laughs> yeah, this I don't get it right. Kind of around your sweet <laughs> I will not be able to go back to work. <laughs> augmented. You're going with augmented. Julia, did you know that one? Just about, yeah. Just about. Let's see if Stephen's right. Is the answer augmented? Yeah, of course it is. Augmented reality. Nicely done, Stephen. Another you. counter for you here. You're dominating now. Drop zone two, please. Two ben. again, please. Busy drop that one. Settles yeah, on the right. Let's hopefully get something over. Oh, no. No. The gap. Just moving laterally into three, really, didn't it? Yeah. So, Julia, we come back to you. Okay. One last chance. Yeah. Third and final question. In January 2019, Juan Guaido declared himself the president of the National Assembly of which South American country? You can play um, it or you can pass to Stephen. Now I'll play. You're going to play for this one. You know this um, one? I think I know it. OK. It's one of two. It's either Venezuela or Colombia. Oh. I'm really sorry, there's been another ambient drop. Sadly, after all that hard work, we're going to have to avoid those counters from the machine. OK, Julie, let's come back to the question. January 2019, Juan Guaido declared himself the president of the National Assembly of which South American country? So you've got two uh, in mind. Yeah. Um, which one are you going to go for? Colombia. You're going with Colombia? Yeah. OK, Stephen, if Julie had passed this one over. I've no real idea, Ben. Possibly Mexico or Argentina. You might have gone Mexico, Argentina. You could have passed this one, Julia. Uh, yeah. You seem Julia. to remember the story. You were torn between Colombia and Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you're right. If you are, you've got one last counter. Is the answer Colombia? No, it was Venezuela, Venezuela. Julia. <laughs> oh, you're on the right lines. So oh. fortunately, that ambient drop didn't change anything because no. you got yeah. the question wrong. No. So, Stephen, you are today's winner. So, Thank congratulations you. to you. Congratulations. One Thank more you. counter to put into the machine here as well. Where do you want to go? Uh, drop zone two, please, Ben. One last hit on drop zone two, please. There we go. Oh, 
hopefully that'll send. Yeah, it should do, shouldn't it? That Another nice effect. little stash there. There we go. Anything here going to go across the tipping point? Yeah, three more. Sneak three more out. <laughs> You've done very well in this round, Stephen. £150 for you there. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means with £1,400, Stephen, you are today's winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. Had a really good game. Uh, Julia, I'm so sorry. I it's know. been so, so lovely. But with £600, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. Vin. It's been great to meet you. I've had a great day. Good Thank stuff. you. Uh, so, Stephen, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the chatbot counter into the machine. Now, this one's bigger than all the other counters, but so much better, because if you can get it out again, you're going to go home with £10,000. We do still have a double in the machine as well. If you get the two to drop together, you'd be leaving with £20,000. Can Stephen master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Stephen is our winner today and has managed to get £1,400. Very nicely done, Stephen. Yeah. That was a great last round for you as well, particularly. But now you've seen off all the others, it's just you and our machine and the chance to get 10,000, maybe even 20,000 pounds Hopefully. out of the machine. If we were to get it out, anything you'd like to do with it? Yeah, well, I, I'm currently renting at the moment, so I would like to um, put that towards a deposit. Amazing. In a new house. Place for you and Claire, that'd be really, yes. really special. Fingers crossed we can get the money. Thank you. Best of luck. Time to find out whether Stephen's gonna win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm gonna ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you'd like to go home with 10,000 pounds, just get it out again. Fancy going home with 20 grand. See if you can get it to drop with the double that's still there on the bottom shelf of Drop Zone 1. Here's how you're going to do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. That's it. Easy. Easy peasy. Right, where do you want to put the jackpot counter? I think it's got to be one, then with the, with the double counter. Yeah, see so yeah. if we can keep it in there till it goes. Fire up one, please. So when you're ready, Stephen, let's get the jackpot in. rams itself down, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a bit over to the edge. With it staying, we don't want it to go too much oh. further that way, do we? That's okay, though, because as it comes through, the double can stay, mm. it's on the right line. But we're nice and flat on the right-hand side of drop zone one. Okay, let's have a look at your end game subjects. This is what we have for you. Music, nature, transport, film, sports, and food and drink. You can play them in any order you like, so when you're ready, where do you want to start and for how many? Yeah, I'll start from the top, please, Ben, and okay. music for three. Okay, music for three. The title of a 1984 Madness hit is named after which of these actors? Alec Guinness, Richard Burton, or Michael Caine? Um, I don't mind a few Madness songs, but none of them ring a bell, but I will think I'll go for Michael Caine. Michael Caine? Just something in the back of my mind. Yeah? yeah. All right, we're going with Michael Caine. So a 1984 hit by Madness, did they name it after Michael Caine? Yes! <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> I didn't exactly. know that. That's a no. great guess. I just thought he, you know, Cockney, bit, yeah. of, bit of Scar yeah, and all that. Yeah, too right. Great stuff. Right, great start. Three counters. Drop zone one. One, please, Ben. Fire it up. Nice to go on the right, yeah, but not nudging it? it past. Yeah, just want to keep it on the right. It's... Okay. That'll do, maybe. Stay on it. Just don't, don't push it over. It. Oh, oh, that's not what we wanted, is no. it? <laughs> Time's too going. I think the, the double, double may drop. Yeah. So the double goes in. Three go with it, though. So that's four counters, which is 200 pounds. Takes up to 1,600. We can double it up, though, and give you another 200 pounds. Takes us up to 1,800 in the machine. Two more to go. Um, one of again, please, Ben. Drop some one. No, not on the top shelf there. Might move these ones in the corner over. That side, yeah. yeah, there we go. And get one over. Yep, one more drops in, another 50 pounds. 1,850. And one more to go. One again, please, Ben. Okay, drop some one. You can always do with pushing it further into two. Oh. Yeah. I might have to change tack later. But... Come in there. Yeah. Another one, one more. maybe. Might just count out. Oh, 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 there you go. Took its time, but went. <laughs> Another 50 pounds takes us to 1,900 pounds. The money's gone up very nicely. 
That jackpot counter already getting a bit isolated yeah. though, isn't it? Let's go back to the category. Still got a long way to go here. Where next, Steve? Nature for three, please. Okay. okay. Nature for three. In a 2019 ITV poll of Britain's top 100 favorite dog breeds, which breed was voted top? Labrador, Boxer, or Staffordshire Bull Terrier? Did uh, you watch it? I didn't, no. Uh, so I think there'd probably be, have to be a guess. And I think I'll go for Labrador. Labrador? Mm -hmm. They're very popular dogs, aren't they? All yeah. three of them, to be fair. We're going to light up Labrador, please. We're looking for the dog that topped ITV's poll in 2019 of Britain's top 100 favourite dog breeds. Was it a Labrador? Labrador came third. It was a Staffy. Right. Staffordshire Bull Terrier. No problem. OK, back to the categories. Transport's next. Transport for three. OK, transport for three it is. Car manufacturer Dacia, whose models include the Sandero and the Duster SUV, was founded in which European country? Spain, Romania or Greece? You heard of it? I've heard of it, yeah. I've seen the advert um, for the Duster. Doesn't really jump out um, any of them really, but I think I'll go with Romania then. Romania? Yeah, something just drawing me towards Romania. OK, we're going to go Romania. Does it sound a little bit more Eastern European, maybe? Possibly. Dacia. Let's see. Is the answer Romania? Yes, it is. Great answer. Crazy. Well done. Right, another three. So what are you thinking? I think I'll stick with one for the time being, okay. Ben, and then see if we need to move across to two. Drop zone one, please. Get it hard on the right, get one right yeah. behind it. Past it, okay. Maybe one. Yeah, 50 pounds drops in, takes us to 1,950 pounds. Two more to go. One again, please, Ben. Drops on one. Oh, I thought it was as well. Thought it might have stayed. Just took a little sort of skip. Go on. So one across. There's a nice stack here. We might get three or four. Yeah, another three. three. OK, another 150 pounds. Money goes up. We're up to 2,100. And one more to go. I think I might just try two and see if I can push it back over, Ben, yeah. on, the, on the left. So It'll worth yeah. it if it works. Yeah. Five up two. And there's a lot of money in two as well. Yeah. And that mystery prize, too. So sort of side benefit could be collecting a bit more. On the left, then. <laughs> exact opposite. Oh! Mystery goes in three. Anything to be had from drop zone three? And they did fall for you, Stephen. Let's add four counters in. Another 200 pounds. Takes us up to 2,300 pounds. Let's go back to the categories. We're halfway. Uh, carry on working down, please, Ben. Uh, film for three. OK. Film for three, please. Which Mexican director received two Oscars in 2018 for his film The Shape of Water? Guillermo del Toro. Alfonso Cuaron or Alejandro González Iñárritu? <laughs> I started watching it on the plane, but I gave up after about 10 minutes. It wasn't really my cup of tea. Your thing. Um, however, I think I do know who it is, and I think it's Alfonso Cuaron. OK, we're going to light up Alfonso Cuaron, please. See if you're right. You didn't quite make it through the film, but have you got the right director? Is it Alfonso Cuaron? <laughs> or Guillermo del Toro? No. Oh. I think I was thinking of another film. Alfonso Cuaron, I think... I think he... I was thinking of Roma. Yeah, did he do Roma? Yes, I which won so, the Oscar, yeah. didn't it? Of That's course. what I had in mind. I knew it was Del Toro, but... Yeah, yeah it's completely oh, frustrating. OK, not to worry. Let's go back to the categories. We've got sport and food and drink. Uh, sport for three. Please. Sport for three it is. The Red Sox and the White Sox are both teams in which American sport? Baseball, basketball or American football? Well, being a Liverpool fan, Ben, our owners also own a baseball team the Boston Red Sox, so right. I think I'll have to go for baseball. Baseball, let's yeah, light it up, please. Let's see if we've got the right answer here. We seem pretty confident. The Red Sox and the White Sox, are they baseball teams? Yes, they are. Great, lovely. So, what are you thinking? I'll go for two again, please, okay. Ben. Fire up two. 
Top shelf's full, isn't it? Yeah. So get it on that left. Left hand side. Squeeze it open. Uh, that could do it. Give it a little a snudge, couldn't it? There you That'll go. There back you go. over a little bit. It did move it, didn't it? A few over as well, hopefully. Ooh, mm, not quite. They're going to sit and wait. Okay, so nothing from that drop. Two more to go. I'll go back to one, please, Ben. Drop zone Just one. To try and get behind there. Move that silver counter behind it. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, we'll take a out a lot in front of it. Few have gone. Not nice. many on the bottom shelf. Broad shove though. Take four out. Nicely done. Two hundred pounds goes in. Takes the two thousand five hundred pounds in the machine. One more to go. I'll stick with one, please, Ben. One up, please. No, it's just not sticking. Tricksy little machine today. <laughs> Not helping us at all, and that's just going to fill a gap. So sadly, that jackpot counter annoyingly stuck on that top shelf. Money's gone up nicely though. One last category for you here, Stephen. Food and drink. Food and drink for three, please. Okay. Ben. Food and drink for three, please. In a traditional recipe for Cornish stargazy pie, what is the main ingredient? Chicken, fish, or beef mince? Heard of a stargazy pie? Not stargazy pie, no. Um, no, no real idea. I'm trying to see if there's anything in Stargazy that would give it away, but I've not ever really ventured down to Cornwall. Have you not? No. Um, You've got to get that. Definitely. Uh, but I think I'll just have to go for a guess, Ben, and I'll go for fish. Fish? Yeah. Down the middle? Yeah. All right, Please. we're going to go with fish. The traditional Cornish Stargazy pie is the main ingredient. Fish. It is indeed. <laughs> well done. Thank you. That's what we needed. One last correct answer. So three more counters here. What are you thinking, Stephen? Uh, I think I'll go back to two, Ben, just to uh, collect some money and get some counters. I don't think three's going to get it anywhere near the edge. No, so. the jackpots. It's just got isolated yeah. as well, hasn't it? Okay, drop zone two, please. There's a lot of money in the bottom shelf. And uh, hopefully one will get over. There we go. Hits the right hand side. And just then across. Couple going here. Yeah, there we go. We'll Ooh. take two. That black counter's clinging on. Hundred pounds though. Takes us up to two thousand six hundred pounds. Two more to go. Two again, please, Ben. Two up, please. There's a lot more action on the left, isn't there? Yeah, it needs to go on the left, just really. Left of centre. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should say it should go on the right. Yeah, and it listens. I'm sure it does. It's over to. Couple here on the edge though. Three and two. Oh, I've gone. Yeah, another three. Let's put those in. Another 150 pounds, up to 2,750, and one last one. Uh, two again, please, Ben. Job this time two. to the right. Job zone two. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's exactly worked. what we should have said. Early doors. All right, Just come on. We got enough. Good shove. Ooh. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, Not we right. actually got something on the jackpot <laughs> counter the first time <laughs> as well. The irony. Uh, so look, Stephen, it's been incredibly frustrating. We're out of questions and categories. Usually at this stage, as I'm sure you know, I offer you a trade. Three final counters for what you've got so far in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. But just given how stubborn that jackpot counter has been and the fact you've already turned your back on it, I know what you're going to say. I need to ask you nonetheless. Would you like to take the money on the trade? The money, please, Ben. Well done, Stephen. Thank Great you. stuff. Cheers. Thank you. £2,750, a lovely amount of money. Certainly go towards something towards the house view and Claire. Definitely, yes. Great stuff. You enjoyed yourself? Oh, it's been a great day. Thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Part. There you go. Stephen's leaving with £2,750. It looked great, didn't it, all the way through till the jackpot counter got itself stuck on the top shelf. It can be so frustrating at times, this machine. Join us next time when the fate of former players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.